Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here and then I'm going to start my next training program on fusion order management fundamentals and then fusion product data. So both the trainings are coupled together actually. Uh, I will now share my screen and then show you what exactly is the content on this one. And if you go to the URL and then write oraclenona.com and then slash OEM. oraclenona.com slash OEM is my website for this current online training which is starting on 4th of May, actually. Entry. OracleNona.com slash OEM. So it's a fusion order management fundamentals. It teaches all the fundamentals of order management, actually. And then the product data hub also is no done. So both the trainings put together is economically priced. And so everybody can very well afford to learn it, actually. And then I am one of the best trainers in the world. And then you'll be learning a lot from me, actually. So go there. So it is now going to, not only the basics, it will now go beyond the basics. You will now become capable to explore the application to the core. And this is suitable for the beginners. Right? Beginners, it will be a very excellent program. And then even for experienced people also, they'll be finding certain amount of what happens, a value addition to it. Because since the cost is low, they can very well venture into it and then see what exactly is new, which I'm teaching over here. So the prerequisite for this program is what you have to know fusion inventory and then fusion procurement and because we cannot teach the basics of fusion inventory and fusion procurement so what i do is i go and sell my records here oraclenona.com slash this invpo fine so oraclenona.com slash invpo there if you go there slash invpo here i am selling my uh what's called my uh, inventory separately and then the procurement separate date so you can even buy these records and then you can get a full idea about these two modules actually because we will be touching them only from integration perspective from order management inventory and then order management to procurement beyond which what happens we won't be going into the depth of it actually so this training program will be doing it and then you can even pay via paper also on this right so you can buy the fusion inventory and fusion procurement and then can practice separately so that website is oraclenona.com slash inbpu now we'll now come back to our program of OEM actually. It is oraclenona.com slash OEM. So here uh, we assume that you have a reasonable amount of uh, what happens the knowledge on inventory as well as procurement. So with which we are going to go ahead and then do it now. <clears throat> right. uh, the necessary integration will be definitely taught in this training. Uh, the training starts on 4th of May actually. Mm -hmm. It will be on weekends and then on Saturdays and Sundays. And then it begins at 6 p.m. India. 6 p.m. is uh, 5.30 a.m. in uh, West Coast actually. Uh, and then uh, once when it ends at 9.30 p.m. India, it is 1 a.m. in uh, Japan, actually. So there is no other time which suits the entire globe, actually. So this is the best time for the globe. So we are not chosen this time. And then after every one hour, I am an old man, 63 years old. And so after every one hour, I will be having a 15 minutes coffee break, actually. So that you will be having three sessions on Saturday and then three sessions on Sunday, actually. So I'm expecting it to complete in seven weekends. And then if the interactions go, then it may even go beyond also. <clears throat> So the course fee is INR2500. So each and every session will be recorded and then uploaded to the Google Drive and then you can download them. So uh, these are all the exclusions on OEM because OEM is a, sort of, is a more technically oriented actually. So the pre and post transformation rules will not be taught here. And then the product in transformation rules. So, fine. I will be doing certain something, something, but not everything. The pricing algorithms, the extensions, the business rules, the do customizations, and then there are many topics which needs ADF dependency actually. So the ADF dependency will not be given to you. But uh, what happens, I will be giving you the ADF records point to you. So that what happens, you can even learn the ADF uh, by going through the records actually. The technical and ADF records will be given to you. So that what happens, you can very well uh, learn it on your own, no fine. But they are exclusions on this training actually, fine. And then if you still have any specific expectations, what happens before joining the program, you talk to me. So even though it's a very low priced program, what happens, some people will be having a lot of expectations and then what happens, they'll be feeling dejected actually. So if you have expectations, first talk to me. <clears throat> Fine, contact me and then what happens? Get it clarified actually. So you can even make a payment by any of the three methods actually. You can make a, make a UPA payment. Fine, and then uh, the UPA details actually. And then you can even register your bank, my bank account in your bank and then you can do it. Now, Fine, I have three bank accounts. So you can even register it. Or otherwise you can even pay via payment gateway. Fine, so there is no need to register here. Now, Fine, it's a Insta Mojo payment gateway actually. So it will accept payment directly actually. And then if you're outside India, you have to pay 40 USD because uh, PayPal charges 18% GST to me. So what happens? It's slightly highly priced, actually. It is slightly higher <clears throat> when compared to the normal 2,500. It will be more than two. You will be paying around approximately 3,200. 
because 18 percent GST had to pay <clears throat> for PayPal actually. So once when the payment is completed by any of the methods, so please send me a screenshot to my WhatsApp number, and then I will now uh, wait for a confirmation from me that you are registered now. Because uh, this time, what happens? I'm going to restrict it to only 100 participants, and then if any payments comes beyond 100, I will not be registering them at all. So ensure that what happens? You're getting a confirmation message from me that you are registered actually, because it becomes too difficult to what happens? Control the group actually. Uh, and so what I was will not be entertaining beyond 100 actually. <clears throat> so these are my details actually. Go down. And then uh, this is the fusion order management worksheet actually. So here I will be using what happens a rapid implementation. So using a rapid implementation, I'll be creating a structure right from the beginning actually. Fine. So if you go on and have a look at it. <clears throat> so uh, I will now open up and then I'll open up this now. So if you see the vision enterprise structure. So in the vision, we'll be having what a ledger will be immediately available as US primary ledger and then US child of accounts and then US legal entity, business unit, and then we'll be having a master org and child org. So I will be creating the entire structure using rapid implementation. We'll be having our own ledger. We'll be having our own chart of accounts and then our own legal entity, our own business unit, and then our own master org and then child org. So with the created enterprise, I will be setting up order management on this and then I will now teach you about how to set up on a fresh instance actually, <clears throat> on a fresh, uh, uh, basically it is almost like implementation only. So this will all be taught in this training actually. So if you go through this agenda, fine, what are there? And then again, I'm telling you there are exclusions and then if you have any specific topic which you're expecting it, you talk to me first of all, whether that is getting covered or not, fine. If it is not so, please don't join because otherwise what happens, it will be very difficult for you. <clears throat> so uh, I'm expecting this to be covered in four to five weeks time approximately. And then afterwards, the product data hub, right? It will be uh, what happens, the product data hub will start. But again, what happens there? I am now creating this here. I'm using an express way of creating the structure actually. So it is a rapid implementation through which I'm creating it now, right? So I will now use rapid implementation to get a structure actually. And then whereas in this place, I'm fine, I will now make a manual structure creation actually. <clears throat> so go there. So I'll be creating what the location owners, everything manually basically. And then I will now teach you about how to create a structure manually. Fine, everything will be dot. And then it will be set up for procurement actually, and not for a, a order management actually. And then we'll be setting up the basic procurement. And then afterwards, make some uh, uh, basic transactions. And then it is just to educate you on how to create a structure manually. And then afterwards, what happens will be going into the product data hub. So the product data hub will be beginning. Fine, go there. So have a look at it. The 79th step onwards will be product data hub. So go there, go for that, and then have a look at it, how I'm creating it actually. Fine, everything will be explained fully. And then it'll be, after having done the basic setups, we'll be going into the validation rules, and then the assignment rules. <clears throat> and then afterwards, the description concatenation will be taught, no fine. After having done all the, the basics, what happens, I'll be going into the approvals, no fine. We'll now begin the NIR approvals automatic actually. <clears throat> New item request approvals automatic. And then afterwards, we'll now we'll go to the definition phase, what exactly the definition phase, we'll be having a look at it. And then afterwards, approval using uh, approval group, and then finally, what happens, they'll go for the change orders. <clears throat> and then what happens, they'll be having the import maps also. Right? So that also is not written there actually, because I learned it very late actually. So that is not added in the agenda actually. So that will also be coming. You'll be having uh, plenty of what happens, the information, and then it'll be, uh, I'm expecting around 100 participants and so what happens, they'll be having a lot of people to assist you also, fine. Uh, somebody may even uh, give value addition because what happens, uh, we have a lot of exclusions now, right? If anybody is good on those exclusions, we will now give the session to them so that what happens, you can even learn from them actually. <clears throat> so these exclusions are there. But if somebody is good in these exclusions, I'll now give the session to them so that what happens, they'll be taking it up and then they will now explain it to you. Or if they say so they have some examples on the business rules or do or I'll do customization, if they give it to me, I will now practice and then I will now show it to you. Right? So whatever is convenient to you. It's a very good one, and then uh, what happens? Uh, the price is really very small, and then uh, you won't find at this price anywhere in the world. Actually, fine. nowhere in Earth and Mars, you will now find a training program for two modules at two thousand five hundred. So it's really worth. And then uh, for inventory and procurement, what happens? You can even go to INB people, and then you can buy my records, and then you can practice on your own. Right. So whereas this is uh, for the product data hub as well as the order management actually. So this way, and then I'm also selling my 21 module record, which is uh, you can even click on this link and then see. But what are all the things which are covered is again a big loot actually. Fine, so much of the things are being sold at 9,000 rupees. Fine, okay. So let us all hope that what happens, you'll be attending the online training on this uh, fusion order management as well as the fusion product data hub.
<clears throat> any questions what happens you can write to me fine so at any point you can write to me or you can even uh, what happens, contact me via whatsapp also on this now and then uh, i will be clarifying it to you <clears throat> so let us all uh, let me hope that you all join this session and then you are now going to contribute also fine that will be a great one and if you're contributing it uh that will be a good assistance to others also fine so bye for now and then we'll now meet on some other session actually fine so the session starts on 4th of may saturday at 6 pm india actually bye for now